MLB The Show's coverage of Major League Baseball is on the air. Today we've got a good matchup in store between the New York Yankees and the Toronto Blue Jays. The Yanks will try to complete the series sweep on the road against their division rivals right after this. Tanner Roark is ready to go as he'll be on the mound for Toronto. What's your take on him, Dan? Hey, every team needs a pitcher like this one here. His numbers aren't going to blow you away. Career ERA just under four. But one thing he does, he takes the ball every five days, throws strikes, and gives his team a chance to win every single time he goes out there. He'll be fun to watch in this one here today. Leading off the At afternoon the plate, for the Brett Gardner. And the we are ready for some daytime Brett. baseball. Gardner. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Weak grounder down the first baseline. Uh, this gets That's foul. Ball. It's 0 and 1. First pitch, 107. A bouncer up the middle. And that's a base hit, so the pressure's on to open up the inning. Nice execution right there, Dan. Kept his front shoulder in. Kept his that hands inside the baseball, ripped the base hit up the middle. And if you're a pitcher right there, you yeah. can't get discouraged. Sometimes, even when you make a good pitch, the ball's going to find a hole somewhere. That one right up the middle. And that'll bring up Aaron Judge. His career line against Roark up until this point. He's a 375 hitter. Here's the first pitch to him. Ball, no. And Dan Dero, the Blue Jays, as they enter play here this afternoon, they are in the midst of a pretty bad stretch as they've dropped six straight coming in. Now the 1-0. Down the left field line and deep. And this is going to wind up a foul ball. Judge is often heralded for his defensive capabilities patrolling the outfield so much in fact it's not uncommon to hear the word elite when used oh. in talking about his skill set. So I guess it goes without saying that his pitcher teammates always appreciate having him out there behind them. And set up behind the dish is Woody Keller as you see the rest of our umpiring crew there. He's going. You know, D. Rowe, Woody Keller's a good umpire, but at times the consistency kind of wavers. And he's in the second safely with a stolen base. Well, I think he's making it pretty obvious why he's batting leadoff, isn't he? Works his way on base to start the game and then does even better by swiping second to put himself into scoring position. He's trying to make an impact from the get-go in this one. Three balls and two strikes to the Yankees DH. Three balls, three strikes. Gio Urshela is on deck. Now the three and two pitch. Hit down the line at first. But this will get foul, so they'll do it again. Three and two. Gardner leads off second with nobody out. And he misses there for ball four. So runners are at first and second now with nobody out. Always tough to issue a free pass, but especially troublesome when you give up a single right before that to start the inning. We'll see if he can figure out a way to wiggle out of this. That'll bring in Giovanni Urshela. And for him, you have to think a turnaround is coming. Clearly not going his way of late. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. That's the ball. Fastball just inside. One ball. No That's a great pitch for a spot like that. It looks like a strike that it just comes in out of the zone. You can command that with movement. It's a very effective pitch to pitching hitters inside. The second for one. Return throw is in time. And what do you know? They do get the double play. Batting four. The shortstop. Labor. Toro. And that'll bring up Glaber Torres. Runner in scoring position with two gone. First pitch of the at bat. Ball. Men on third with two down. Line drive. 
life and that's a base hit into center field. And they're going to take a one nothing lead as the run comes across to score. Uh, the throw pulls him off the bag. This is why it's so important to give that's your cleanup it. hitter an opportunity to hit with runners in scoring position. He does just what he's supposed to do, lacing a double and driving in a run, just like you draw it up. Giancarlo Stanton now. Swing and there it goes. He got all of that ball. See you later. Over the wall, a home run. A long two-run homer off the bat of Giancarlo Stanton. Number 10 for him on the year as the Yankees move out to a 3 to nothing lead. Yeah, you never want to give up anything in the first inning, but to go down 3-0, it's just painful. Can't afford any more early mistakes or the hole's going to be too deep to climb out of. In now, Mike Talkman, the right fielder. As the Mike. first pitch misses high Talk. and inside for ball one. And he's carrying a batting average of just over 300. So clearly he's been a productive player with the bat in his hand so far. Yep. And a strike to even the count. One and one. Not no. close with the off speed pitch taken for a ball. I don't blame him for not coming over the heart of the plate. He circled this guy on the lineup card when he got to the yard today. He's been swinging one of the hotter bats in the game. All even now, two and two. No. Ball three. Down three and two ball. now. Three runs already home here. And he strikes him out here so he's able to stop the bleeding a bit as the side is retired. But they strike for three in the inning. Two on this two run home run. Bottom of the first coming up. It's now three nothing New York. Jonathan Loisega will do the pitching in game three of the series. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? Hey, it's hard to have all four of your pitches on, but I think if this guy can have two or three of his four pitches and have command of them, he's going to have a really good game. Stepping up to the plate, Rowdy Tellez. He'll lead things off here in the we bottom half of the first. The, the first baseman, number four. Infield in the overshift here, now the pitch. Well, this Yankee ball club entering play this afternoon here. They've been hot of late, winners in four straight. Maddie, this team is oozing confidence right now. They were playing well coming into this game. And what do they do right out of the shoot, top of the first throw, three spot up on the board? They got the opposition on their heels. Into the corner and slicing foul. Now here's the pitch. Too low with a fastball there. One ball, two strikes. Wow, that's a close pitch to take. But when you're a good hitter like this guy, to take that pitch on 0-2, you have to have a pretty good eye. And that's going to be high 2-2 two and two now. Now the fastball is right by him as he swings and misses for the first out of the inning. What I like about that strikeout, guys, is that he came back that with a fastball on 2-2. Two two. He was heading to count 0-2 oh. earlier, but instead of continuing to nibble a little bit, he decided to get aggressive again and to challenge with his hard stuff.
stepping in now, Bo Bichette. As the first pitch here's a bit high, it's ball one. He'll enter play with an average of 311, eight home runs, and 19 driven in. Lined hard toward right center. And that's into the gap and should be extra bases. And he'll reach second now with one away. So a double into the gap has that's him third. in business here with the one away. Paper. And as we call on the what team leaderboard, you can see that he currently paces the Blue Jays in that category. Now in the box, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. And as you take a look at the splits here, he's actually better against right-handed pitching this season. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. 1-0. The 1 0. Ball two. That's a pretty tough spot for him to deal with in the first inning. Runner in scoring position already, and now he's got the three hitter salivating in a good hitter's count. Runner at second here with one man out. Too tight with that one. 3 and 0. Pretty good pitch right there. Fastball in off the plate. One of the things you want to do as a pitcher, try to stand those hitters up. Set and the three and zero offering. Three and one the count now. And here's a ball hit in the air. Right fielder is on the run. He makes the catch and tagging is the runner from second. And he's up to third safely now with two gone in the inning. Batting four. Not your stop. Mortis. Guriel. Into the box now. Mortis Guriel. And there you see the numbers over his last eight contests. He's really been leading the charge for this team. First pitch on its way. A hey, last two pitches back to back off speed then he's laid on the fastball he could pretty much do anything he wants right here on the mound. He got him lively fastball that time and it puts an end to the inning. Blue Jays held in check they trail it here three to nothing. And that sends D.J. LeMahieu into the box. Day off for him yesterday, but back out there for this one. One of the keys to securing a win, they want to keep the pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. First delivery to him on the way. A ball and no strikes. Well, today's game provides the visiting squad with a chance to complete the series sweep, guys. Sure does, and it's always difficult to sweep and win a series on the road, especially when you're playing a division opponent. And if they're going to get something close to a repeat effort out of their pitching staff in this game to the one they got yesterday, that would certainly help the cause. No doubt about that, Matt. A combo platter combined shutout yesterday. Hopefully they can continue to throw more zeros up in this one today. The Yankees will, however, have to beat their opposition's best as they've got to go up against their ace in this one. This one isn't in the books yet, but when you're going for the sweep and you have a nice lead like they do early on here, things are looking awfully good for the sweep department. Hit out towards second. Fielded cleanly. 
Throw to first will be in time, and there's one gone here to start the second. Batting it. The first baseman, Mike Ford. Into the box now, Mike Ford. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. No balls in one strike. And he oh. watches one dip low and inside for a ball. One and one. One out, nobody on. Popped him up. Tellez is there. Two gone. Batting nine, the catcher, Kyle Higashioka. Striding in, Kyle Higashioka. He comes in after a day of rest yesterday, so we'll see if it did him any good. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. And he'll oh. try to crowd him there to start the at-bat. It's 1-0. and oh. Everything this guy throws moves, and that two-seamer has a mind of its own. Swing and a ball hit out toward right center. McKinney's there for it. And that's the third out. So the Yanks go one, two, three, but they lead it three nothing. Leading off the inning to Oscar Hernandez. And they'll need him to get no something field, going man. here. Hey, we're still in the early stages in this Earth one. They're only down day. by a couple of runs. But it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. Shot toward right center. Tuckman moves to his right and puts this one away in the alley for out number one. Batting fit. The right fielder. Randall. Gritchett. Here's Randall Gritchett. And you can see his home road splits there. He has not fared very well in front of the home crowd, oddly enough. Here's the first pitch to him. No. 1 0. Bases are empty, one man out. Hurt. And it's a called strike to even the count at one. A 1 1. He's in there for strike number two. To two oh. balls and two strikes now. All even at two and two. Here it is. Swing and a miss on the changeup, and there are two gone. He showed right there why having a good changeup is so valuable. Two and two, and he flips Batting one up seven. there that the bottom the really falls out at Double the last ten. minute. It's so hard to pick up, and it's even harder to make good contact with. At the plate now, Reese McGuire. As the first pitch to him is swung oh, on and missed for strike one. Two out, nobody on. And here's a curveball in the dirt that time for a ball. One and one. A one and two count to the Blue Jays signal caller. I think it's safe to say he wasn't ready for the fastball. Wow, was he behind that fastball. Great job on the mound using the curveball to set up the heater. And they could go oh, either cool. way now, I suppose. The count now at two and two. Now the pitch. Down is full. Three two. And that one's taken outside for a ball. They walked him. So no one two three inning here. They've got themselves a two out base runner. Batting eight. The center fielder. 
Billy. Mark so a runner at first with two away, and in to hit next, the speedy Billy McKinney. Set and the pitch. And he gets ahead here with the fastball. Strike one. McKinney, a native Texan. He's in his third season as a major league player. He's ready. Here's the 0-1. Ball. A runner on first with two away. Ball. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. I wonder if that call not going his way right there has anything to do with walking the last guy. We all know umpires don't give you much on the corners if you're not throwing strikes consistently. To two and two now. Two balls, two strikes. Three balls and two Ball strikes down. to the Blue Jays center fielder. 3-2, two, two out, runner on first. Lots of possible outcomes on this pitch. Too close for comfort, and he did a good job just to make contact. Another full count pitch home. Is a swing and a miss. That's strike three. One left for Toronto. They trail in this one, 3 nothing. So it's back to the top of the order now. And up next, the left-handed hitting Brett Gardner. The center fielder, number 11. Here's Brett the first pitch to him. Gardner. Pitch popped up. Tellez is under it. And he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. The back. And with Number one away, nine. time for a check Never of the standings the in the American Aaron. League East as you get a look at Good. where these two teams find themselves entering play. Digging in for his second at bat, Aaron Judge. He drew a walk his first time up. Pitch on the way. Ball. The 1 0 is laid oh. off for ball two. Two ball, no strike. Now the 2 0. One out, nobody on. Fastball, and mm, looks like they're pinching him a bit here. It's 3 and 1. This is where you cash your checks right here. 3 1, you're one of the best hitters in the game. You live for situations like this. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. And that fastball is taken but catches the outer third. Swung on and chopped up the middle. And there are two away now. The batter, the third baseman, Gio Urshela. Standing in, Gio Urshela. 0 for 1 here in the early going. First pitch of the at bat. I guess the game plan from the offensive standpoint today coming into this one was they were going to work the counts. They've been super patient at the plate in the early goings of this game, and they've got the lead looking for more. Popped him up. 
Guriel is there, and the side is retired. Nothing across here this half of the inning. We'll head now to the home half of inning number three. It's the Yankees three, the Jays nothing. Welcome back. As the Blue Jays look to get their bats going in the third inning, and you can say they've been trying to do that pretty much all year. And during the day, they rank near the bottom of the league in batting average, on-base percentage, and slugging. So it's clear this is a work in progress. One player told me before the game, it's a difficult thing to go through. We're all competitive guys, and we believe in ourselves, but we're obviously not getting the results we need. Now, one coach told me that despite the numbers being what they are, he's seeing a lot of development well, happening. Well, so he's game. optimistic about what the future the holds, baseman. especially for some yeah, of their man. younger players. Back to you, thank Matt. You. OK, thank you, Heidi. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Kevin Biggio is in to start things off here as he looks at a called strike. It's nothing in one. That's a tough pitch right there. Curveball kind of front hip. Your first move is to bail a little bit and kind of not want to get hit by that pitch. I can totally understand him taking that first strike. Behind 0-2 now. Sent in the air out to straightaway central. Gardner is there. One down. Now batting. Number 44. So coming to the plate, Rowdy Tellers. First pitch on its way. Ball, no. Bases are empty, one man out. Downstairs, two balls and no strikes. A two and one count to the Blue Jays' first baseman. In there, and it's even now, two and two. And the pitch. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. After fouling off the second one, I got to step out of the box, adjust my batting gloves, and tell myself there's no chance he's tripling up on that pitch. And this is swung on and missed his fifth strikeout already, and there are two gone in the inning. Anytime a pitcher locates a fastball on now the inside back. corner, it's going hitter. to be a tough pitch to Whoa. hit. That one was spot on, and he had no answer for it. At the plate, Bo Bichette. As he yeah. will take strike one on the fastball here, no balls and a strike. One for one as he reached base with a double his first time up. The wind up and the 0 1. Well outside with the curveball for a ball. Now a ball hit pretty well to left, but this is going to wind up in the seats foul. Bases are empty here with two men out. Strike three on a pitch in the dirt. And that ends the inning. So they go down without a whimper here. On now to the top of inning number four. The Yankees lead this one three to nothing. All set for the start of the fourth. Striding forward now, the, the Yankee cleanup hitter, Torres. Her. He'll try to follow up Torres. the double in his last at bat with another big hit right here. Yeah, he did a great job to go down and get that one, his last at bat. But I got to think they're going to pitch him up, maybe elevate something in the zone. Interested to see how he approaches this next AB.
He's ready. Here's the 0-1. Oh, and he leaves the fastball up there. Mistake in location. He is going to pay for it dearly as that ball is sent over the wall. A home run. Solo shot to right center. Sixth home run on the season for him. As the Yankees start to pull away a bit, it's now four to nothing. Well, if you're going to give up a towering blast to one of the best players in their lineup, it's better to do it with no one on base. It stings, sure, but a solo shot isn't going to be the deciding factor in a game. Now back. And digging into Let's the batter's box next will be Giancarlo Stanton. As he'll look at a fastball in there on the outer half, it's 0-1. And a pitch in the dirt as he lays off. It's one and one. A ball and two strikes. Well, it's been a rough one so far. Four runs through three innings. It's about time to get that pitch count down or he won't be out here very long. Four runs, four hits, and no errors for the Yankees so far. There's a two seam fastball that's fought off foul off to the right. And he fouls this one off. The next one two pitch. Left side. He's right there. And a bit of a high throw that time, but no problem over there at first as they record the out. Now had to protect there with two strikes, and he just got it off the end of the bat. Not much of a problem for the infield at that point. Settling in now, Mike Talkman. First time up, he went down looking. Yeah, and a borderline call, Matty. I don't know. I got to feel like he's got to build a rapport with this umpire, this A.B., see how far he'll go in or out. He can't allow himself to go down looking again. The windup and the 0-1. Well above the letters with the fastball that time. When he's pitching effectively, usually that two-seam fastball is moving quite a bit, but here it's just kind of flat and straight. Could be a big part of the reason why he's getting knocked around. A two-seamer there as this is fouled off to the left side. Four runs, four hits, and no errors for the Yankees so far. Hit down the third baseline. But this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. Swing and a ball yanked down the right field line. And that's into the outfield for a one-out hit. He's able to hustle his way up to second as he'll reach here with a two base hit. Well, now, as we take a look at his line three. here, he might not know okay. all the specifics, well, but he knows he hasn't been pitching all that well in this one. Sometimes it happens. You start a game and never completely get into that rhythm. Seems to be the case here. Here's the second baseman, DJ LeMay here. Oh, no. Yes, he'll take a look at ball one. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. The 1 and 0 delivery. Now a good pitch around the knees, but it doesn't quite catch the bottom of the zone. This offense is absolutely feasting on these count leverage situations. If he's going to have any chance of feeling good about his effort tonight, this pitcher has got to get back in the strike zone. 3 and 0 to him now. One out and a runner on second base. And that misses ball four. So it's first and second now with only one away. Man, when you don't get a call on a pitch that good, you have to wonder if maybe it's personal. You can't blame him for being angry, but he's got to find a way to move on and focus on the next batter. 
Next for New York, Mike Ford. So far, 0 for 1 with a flyout. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Softly hit down to third. Likely no shot at two. One there. The turn throw is in time. How about that? They do turn two, and it gets him out of the inning. Around the horn they go. Five to four to three to end the threat. We're back with more on a Sunday afternoon following this. Stepping in for the Jays, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Lots of baseball left in this one as we're still early on, but you don't want to fall too far behind. They're already down by a bundle, and one of the things you want your leadoff guy to get on and set the table for the big boys to start driving in some runs. Guerrero, a Canadian native, he's a second year big leaguer. Oh, and he's really getting no the better of him now. It's strike two. And on 0 2, he misses with a fastball. The play 12, 1 2. Hard liner, but picked up on a hop. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. The batter number 13. Shortstop. Lourdes. Guriel. And now the Toronto number four hitter, Lourdes Guriel. He'll look to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Yeah, he's got to put that one behind him, especially with runners in scoring position. Those punch outs will stick with you a little longer. Owen oh, won the count. And a liner foul into the seats down the right side. Swung on, but it's pulled foul wide of third. One out, nobody on. Swung on in the dirt, strike three. Higashioka has it. And the throw to first is there to record the second out. Well, you know you made a real nice pitch when you bounce it in the dirt, and you still get the hitter to swing at it. That tells me that there's a lot of deception in that pitch right now. Teoscar Hernandez digging in now. Hit it hard, but lined out in his first at bat. Yeah, Matty, but as he walks to the plate right here, he feels good building off that last A.B. He hit that ball on screws. One ball, no strikes to count. Two and oh to the Jays left fielder. If you've been paying attention, the guy on the mound does not want to come inside. If I'm at the plate, I'm leaning out over. Three ball, and oh no. now. I'd be shocked if this wasn't a four pitch walk right here. He doesn't want to mess around and leave something over the heart of the plate and get beat in this situation. Oh. Up in the strike zone, but the take sign was on three and one. Got to believe he had the green light in that situation. Two outs, 3 0 count. This guy can certainly handle the bat. That's a perfect situation to let him loose. But I love the fact that he's key holding a certain area, and it wasn't what he was looking for. Hit hard up the middle. LeMahieu's got it. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as the side is retired. Pretty painless half of the inning, all told. We played four full. The Yankees four. The Jays nothing. So striding forward now, Kyle Higashioka. Flied out in his first at-bat, so make him 0 for 1 so far. Now here it comes. 
Grounded down the third baseline. But a foul ball here, 0 and 1. Higashioka, a six foot one inch right handed swinger and thrower. He was selected in the seventh round during the 2008 draft. I know this guy wouldn't go into the category of superstar, but to grind out the career he has being drafted where he was, my hat's off to him. One and two to the Yankees catcher. High in the air out to center field. McKinney has to roam straight back, but he has it for the first out. The center fielder, number 11, Brett Gardner. So one away here with the bases empty. And up next, the left-handed hitting Brett Gardner. First pitch of the at-bat. Hot one. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. And, and that's a called strike at the letters. Though that looked high from here, it's 0-2 now. You got to go into battle mode after falling down 0-2 and find a way to work yourself back to even. Oh, and he dusted oh. him off the plate that time. Some mind games being played now. It's 1-2. and two. I could understand the first pitch being tough on the umpire to debate whether it was a strike or a ball. But no debating that last one. That thing was way off. Bases are empty, one man out. Line to second where it's caught there for out number two. The batter, number 99, designated hitter, Aaron Judge. So bases are empty here with two gone, and that'll bring up the former American League Rookie of the Year, big Aaron Judge. First offering on its way takes this the other way to right and that'll get by and on through towards the wall throw into second not in time and he's in there with a double hey guys that's a great job of hitting right there now pitcher batter. executes his pitch down and away below Gio. the knees and a right-handed batter is able to stay inside and push it through the three four hole nothing you can do So now the Jays manager will make his way out toward the mound and it changes in the offing as that'll be all for his starter this afternoon. So he'll depart here in the fifth after working just four and two thirds and he's on the hook for the L unless this one turns around. Ladies Chase Anderson a six foot one inch please. right hander will be the now one to get the call from the bullpen here. Number twenty two Chase Anderson. Into the box now, Gio Urshela. As he'll watch one miss down and in for a ball, 1-0. and oh. He's hitless in his two at-bats so far. Here's the 1-0. Hard hit ball to short, reined in. And not too shabby out of the pen. Takes just two pitches to get the ground ball, and that ends the inning. Danger averted following the two out double. More to come on the show Sunday baseball after this. Back now here at Rogers Center and here's Heidi. Thanks Matt. In between innings I was able to catch up with the manager of the Blue Jays to discuss his thoughts on his team's lineup so far. And he told me he feels like they're being too patient at the plate right now. He said the problem is they're allowing themselves to fall behind in the count way too often, which is forcing them to constantly be in protect mode and swing at bad pitches. A lot of their outs have come from at-bats where they've fallen behind. So the focus going forward needs to be about being the aggressor early in the at-bats. Thank you, Heidi. 
the Randall right Grichuk at the plate Red now. Goal. He leads off from the bottom of the fifth Grichuk. as they look to break through on the scoreboard for the first time in this one. Yeah, baseball is a game of adjustments, and it's time they start making some. They don't need to change their entire approach necessarily, but now is maybe when they start thinking about ways to get the guy in the mound out of his rhythm a bit. Now here it comes. Swing and a miss at a first pitch no changeup. Nothing in one. swinging strike oh, and now it's 0 2 hey it's a game of execution if the pitcher stays right there this lineup's going to continue to have a tough time the wind up and the 0 2 pitch and oh. he won't offer it that too high one and two a couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. Struck him out, and that's eight strikeouts thus far. Good job of making him chase a pitch for the strikeout there. It. Yeah, Matt, that's Number the advantage ten. of getting ahead in the count. You can really force hitters to expand their zone and protect. And when they're in that mode, getting them to go after a pitch they can't do much with becomes a lot easier. To the plate now, Reese McGuire. As he will oh. look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. He'll start this one at 269. Three homers, nine driven in. A ball and a strike. This pitcher's bringing it with some high velo. You better get that front foot down early and get ready, or he's going to throw it right by you. Count is one and two now. Here it comes. And he punches out another one. Make it nine for the ball game. He's got good swing in this stuff in this game. That's back-to-back -back Ks, and that was That's his ninth fielder. of the game. Really? If you're striking out one or more in inning, you're throwing the ball pretty well. That'll bring up Billy McKinney. As he'll look at a fastball too high for ball one. He'll attempt to put the ball in play for a change here with the first two guys going down on strikes to start the inning. Fouled off. Two out, nobody on. And he'll come back with one in the dirt as the count moves to two and one now. Boy, they've been just getting shut down right here. Been a while since they've even had a runner on. So I think it's time to start looking for ways to make some things happen. Drop a bunt, get up on the plate, something. Changed up on him and dropped it in for a called strike. Fastball misses in the dirt as he tried to get him to chase the low one. One of the things you want to do with a starter, get that pitch count up. Here's another productive at bat as this count now gets to three balls and two strikes. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. And he will strike him out. Ten now in the ball game, and the inning is over. One, two, three, go the Blue Jays. They're down four nothing. Ready once again, Torres. He'll start things out now in the top half the of the sixth. The last at bat, Matty B, we heard this guy's a good fastball hitter. He got a fastball and didn't miss it. We'll see if they pitch him a little bit differently this time and mix in some off-speed pitches. One and oh, the count. Now here it comes. Low and away as he misses again. 2 and 0. Oh. 
popped him up. Tellez in foul ground. And that's the first out of the inning. Now batting left fielder Giancarlo Stanton. Giancarlo Stanton will stand in here, but before he does, let's take you back to the very first inning. This was a two run home run right out of the gate that really got these guys off to a fast start. Now here's the pitch. Ball. The 1 0 home. A bouncer to the left side. On to first, and there were two down. The batter, the right fielder, Mike Talkman. Digging in once again, Mike Talkman, one for two with a double on the ledger so far. First delivery to him on the way. Hit out towards second. He's got it. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as this side is retired. So no runs, no hits, no errors, and no one left. Nine, one, and two scheduled to hit in the home half of the sixth. The Yankees lead it four to nothing. Next to bat for Toronto, Kevin Biggio. He starts off the inning Leading against a guy who the struck game. out the side last the inning. How did they get to him here? Kevin. I'm not sure, Matt, that they want to Biggio. stay as patient. He's been throwing a lot of strikes. They might want to start swinging a little bit earlier in the count. First delivery to him on the way. No, outside. Change up low, 2 and 0. Oh. Two balls, no strike. And that catches the outside corner. It's two and one. Here it comes. Line drive base hit. Around first, digging for two. And he is in the second base with a leadoff double. Well, the pitcher can't really worry about that one. I mean, it was only their Number second hit of the game, so he's doing a lot of things right. Let's see if he can leave him out there now. So the batting order turns over now and set to go. Rowdy Tellez, he's hitless in the game, as is much of the rest of his team. From the stretch, here's the pitch. That's up. The 1 0 is oh. taken, strike one. This is going to be an interesting at bat. I think he has to be pitching for a strike out here, so we'll see what kind of sequence he uses. The 1-1 one, one is laid That's off of down and in. A couple strikeouts early in the game, but he's done a much better job in this at bat trying to get ahead and put himself at a good hitter's count. Gets the sign. Here comes the 2-1. Turned on down the line. Ah, way to get dirty. And the first out of the inning is a beautiful one. What a play. Now Great diving the stop down there at first to get the Whoa. out. If that ball gets to the yeah. outfield, yeah. the whole complexion of this inning drastically changes. So digging in now, Bo Bichette. He's one for two in this one.
Here comes the first pitch. Line toward the alley in left center. And this is going to find the alley as he might have himself his second double of the ball game. The runner from third comes across to score as they try and chip away at the deficit. The he didn't fool anybody the there because he was waiting what on that curveball all the way. Stays back and lets it break right over the heart of the plate. Gives it a ride and drives in a run. Nice piece of hitting right there. Here comes the Yankee skipper on his way to the mound. And we're going to have a pitching change as that's going to be all for his starter this afternoon. So he'll head for the showers as he stands to win this one if the bullpen can find a way to protect his three run lead. Chad Green, a right handed reliever standing 6 3, gets the ball now out of the Number bullpen. 57, Chad Green. Standing in now, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. as he lays off a fastball too low for ball one. The 1 0. Ball, no. low and the plot thickens here three and oh and it looks like the Yankees will have a left hander up and throwing in the bullpen here it comes on three and oh now ball hit foul down the line in right and in amongst the fans Here's the 3 1. Mm, and a good pitch there as they come after him, and the count goes full. When you get yourself to a 3 1 count and you get a fastball, those are the ones you really want to punish. Couldn't get the bat on it, so we'll see if that comes back to haunt him. Fastball, strike three called as he couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. It's never a good look to strike out looking, but it's way no worse when you do it with a guy in scoring position. Those are the times Morning. you really want to see a guy battle Morning, yeah. and at least put the ball in play. So now to the plate, Lourdes Guriel. As he'll take a look at a strike right down the middle, it's 0-1. No hits to this point. This is one and one. Tough spot to hit here as a hitter. You have a base open, so you have to almost be trying to think like the pitcher. Is he going to try to pitch around me, or is he going to come in the strike zone? Blue Jay shortstop with a one and two count. Hey, from a pitcher's standpoint, sometimes the greatest pitch is the slider that backs up. He got away with that one, but he wants that thing to bury down the way. The one-two. And he goes with the slider that time, and it's driven to deep right field. Talkman has to retreat to the track, but he has it to retire the side. The sights and sounds of a day at the ballpark. Oh, my goodness. On to the back third here this afternoon, and we've got it for you on the show. Stepping into the box, D.J. LeMayhew. He'll be tasked with starting things as we begin the seventh.
Here's the first pitch to him. Ball. LeMahieu, the former Colorado Rocky, he was signed as a free agent in the middle of last season. Yeah, I know he expected to get a longer term deal, but these are the facts right now. He is on a one year deal and he is going to have to produce if he is going to get that multi year he's been looking for come off season. Wanted to get the front door curveball on the inside corner there, but it backed up a little and stayed off the corner. Strike taken as that one catches the outer part of the plate. That's how you open up the outside part of the plate. Pound two balls in and then get right back outside. Nice pitch. Curveball misses here, so a good hitter's count now to three and one. And just when you needed a shutdown inning, a leadoff walk was certainly not on the agenda. He needs a bear down right here. Grounded back up the middle. Scooped up. And the throw to first is in time, so the leadoff man is gone here to start inning number seven. The first baseman, Mike Ford. So striding in, Mike Ford. He was a double play victim last time around. He doesn't have to worry about that in this situation, Maddie. No one on base right now. Try and get something up so you can drive the baseball. Started the breaking ball far too inside that time. Laid off for ball one. That's wide, 2 and 0. Now here's the pitch. Ball. Well, he knows it, but this is the kind of guy you just have to go right after. He's not the biggest threat with the bat, so it's time to challenge him right here. We're in the seventh now. Four to one, our score to this point. That's on the outer edge, three and one. You maybe get two pitches a game where all the guesswork goes out the window. This is certainly that situation. The three and one pitch. Pulled toward right center field. McKinney giving chase. He gets there, and that's the second out. Up next for the Yankees, the catcher, Kyle Higashioka. Digging in, Kyle Higashioka. 0 for 2 for him to this point. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. And a bit too high with that one. It's 1-0. One and oh. Now it's 2-0. Two, oh. two outs here, and the focus needs to stay sharp. You don't want that lineup turning over in an inning if you can help it. Line drive to center field. McKinney is there and he'll make the catch to retire the side. One, two, three, go the Bombers as they hold on to a four to one lead. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Now to the plate to Oscar Hernandez. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Hernandez. First pitch on its way. There's a swing and he sends a ball high in the air into left field. Back goes Stanton on the warning track. He makes the catch. Now back. This guy's not right wasting fielder. any time, right? Randall. Gets a first pitch fastball Richard. and he flies out deep on the first pitch of the inning. Now with the plate, Rendell Gritchick, 0 for 2 on his line thus far. First pitch of the at bat. Ball. Now a fastball that couldn't quite find the zone. Oh. It's ball one. Just missed with that heater, but even if he wanted to swing, I don't think he could have caught up to that one. One out, nobody on. Ball. 
And that pitch oh. misses in the dirt, and it's 2 0 oh. now. Two and one after the foul ball there. And oh. ooh, that strike zone's getting a little inconsistent now. It's two and two. Hey, you want someone sometimes to rattle the bat rack, but also the guy on the mound's got to eat too. They're executing their pitches out there. It's going to be tough. To score some runs. The 2 2 is swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. You know what was really impressive to me about that strikeout? He fell behind 2 0 to start Number the at bat. 10. That's a pretty bad place to be, but then he kind of refocused himself and came right back with three quality pitches in a row to sit him down. That's not easy to do, but now his focus has to hone in on getting ahead on the next guy. Stepping in now, Reese McGuire. As the first ball. pitch here is a bit high, it's ball, ball. one. No He's strike. 0 for 1 thus far. Now the 1-0. Ball. You know, over the course of a full season, you're going to have some clunkers, and this certainly looks like one. By the look on the manager's face, he's going to probably call a meeting after this. Two and O count. Here it comes. Three oh. and O now. Yeah, he's all over the place right now. No doubt, he's clearly fighting his mechanics. Ruled a strike on the outside corner, three and one. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. And this is taken low for ball four, and they'll have themselves a two out base runner here after all. Well, he walked them on five pitches, the but that last fielder, pitch was really good. Billy. He missed down, but only by Mark a hair. Eddie. When a hitter has a 3 1 count, he can wait until he gets a pitch he loves. Now at the plate, Billy McKinney. He was sent packing on strikes in his last trip. Yeah, Maddie, and hopefully he got it out of his system. Especially now, he's got to bear down. He gets the two strikes in this spot, has to put the ball in play. Good swing, just got to try and straighten that one out. Liner towards second, leaps and makes a terrific catch. And with that, the side is retired. A ball ticketed for right center, but the ticket is revoked as he goes up to pull this one down. We're back with more on a Sunday afternoon following this. So back to the top of the Yankee order. Digging in, Brett Gardner. He lined out in his last trip, so looking for better fortunes here. Now the pitch. Hold strike at the knees. Evens the count at one and one. Two. In there, one and two now. Play 12. One, two to count. Yanked on the ground down the line. Oh, and this kicks right off of him. And he'll flip it to the pitcher covering for the out. The batter, number 99, designated hitter, Aaron Judge. In now is the Yankees' DH, Aaron Judge. He doubled his last time through. 
Yeah, he jumped all over that first pitch last time up. Interested to see if he has the same approach this A.B. This Yo. one's outside. Quite a bit off the plate that time. Ah. And the fastball hitting 93 on the gun. It's one and one. And it's a ball and two strikes now to Aaron Judge. With the way this guy's throwing on the mound, you cannot be chasing. You have to set your sights a little bit lower and control the strike zone. Reined in. Throw in time at first for route number two. Up next for the Yankees. Time to give you a look now at the numbers for our two starting pitchers and really nothing to write home about on either line as neither guy was able to last even six innings. Digging in, Gio Urshela, and he's 0 for in this one, batting out of the three spot. Here comes the first pitch. This is on the ground over to first, and he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Nothing across here this half. Not too many more shots left. Home half of the eighth coming up. The Yankees four, and the Blue Jays one. Your oh, this Chapman is on to pitch now out of the bullpen the in the bottom half of the eighth. Number 54, Aroldis Chapman. Digging in and looking for more. Kevin Biggio, one for two game. in the ball game thus far. The second baseman, Kevin Biggio. He's set. Here it comes. Tried to check it, and it's 0-1. So the Bronx Bombers are maintaining a slim lead in the late going of this series finale. So if they can wrap it up, they'll complete the series sweep. Hey, Matt, what a great spot to be in. You're playing good baseball. You're going for the no sweep, ball. and you're Good's leading up. by a few runs going into the later innings. Now it's just time to close the deal. A pause, and the 0-2. Lane 12, one ball, two strikes. And oh, strike three called on a fastball that looked inside from here, but that's out number one. Well, that call looked like it was a little in the pitcher's favor, but it wasn't outrageous. Hey, listen, calling balls and strikes is a really tough job, and even the best are going to miss some from time to time, especially when they're sort of borderline like that last one. Not sure the hitter would want to hear that, though. Rowdy Tellez the next to bat. And it certainly would be a big morale boost to a team if they're able to complete a sweep like this one on the road in hostile territory. They might even change their nickname for this team to the Road Warriors. A sweep is looking pretty good as they're leading this one again late in the ballgame. Chapman, nicknamed the Missile for obvious reasons. He's in year one of a new three-year deal. The 2-0 on the way. A swing and a miss, strike one. Two ball, one strike. All over that one, but a little out in front. Foul ball. He's going to be thinking about that pitch all night if he doesn't have a big game right here. Pulled his front shoulder and everything went with it. The 2-2. Full count. Three balls. Bo Bichette is on deck. Eighth inning. Four to one is our score. Swing and a ball hits softly on the ground. Oh, and he has some trouble with it. The batter. The designated hitter. Bo Bichette. Into the box, Bo Bichette. And it's fouled away. 
So far two for three in this one. Oh one here's the pitch. Good fastball as he gets the swing and a miss. Hey, now he's got me confused up here. This is a known sinker baller out on the mound trying to roll a double play, and he throws him a four-seamer. Runners on first with one down. Good bite to that sinker as he gets him to swing through it for route number two. That swing tells me he was really trying to get a pitch out front and rip it down the line, but that wasn't a great pitch to do it on. It's really not the best two-strike approach either. At the plate, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. As he takes a called strike on the black, it's 0-1. He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. Good hard sinker swung on and missed 0-2. In my opinion, one of the toughest pitches in the game to square up. Just a heavy sinker with good downward action. And this one runs in on him as he can't get his arms extended. A great pitch there, and the inning is over. Blue Jays held in check, and this is still a 4-1 ball game. Sam Gavilio enters from the pen to start the ninth inning as he'll try to keep the score right where it is heading to the bottom of the ninth. Sam Gavilio. New inning set to get underway. So here's the cleanup hitter, Torres. And if you remember, I'm sure he does, he hit a round tripper back in the fourth. First delivery to him on the way. Here we go with no, inning number ball. nine as the first pitch misses for one ball, ball one. No strike. A ball and a strike. We're playing 11. One ball, one strike. The 1-1. One, one. Ball. Hasn't seen a heater yet in this at bat. One might be coming right here. Popped up. Back behind second. Biggio is there for it. He's got it one away. Now batting. Left fielder. Giancarlo. Stanton. Stepping in. Giancarlo Stanton. Outfield shaded a bit to left center the first pitch sends that one out of play for strike one. Off the outside that time as the breaking ball can't catch the zone and some action now in the Toronto bullpen as a right hander starts to get loose. Bases are empty one man out. One and two now as that one's fouled off. Here's the pitch. And a swing and a miss here. And the first two are dispatched to begin the ninth. Really good late bite on that slider right there. The best now ones that, have that late action right that field. just darts at the right. last minute. They're Talk. so tough to get the bat on. And when you've got that good slider going, it's a great strikeout pitch. Into the box now, Mike Talkman. As the first ball pitch one. to him is a changeup that can't find the zone. It's ball one. Into his windup, here comes the 1 0. And he makes good contact there, but this is going to find the stands foul down the right field line. 
Bases are empty here with two men out. Line to the right side. And that is in there for a two out base knock. Dan, this guy's on fire. I used to say all the time it's about 150 oh, ABs to 200 Perfect. ABs where you start figuring out what type of season you're going to have. He's obviously in May, and he's on fire. d -Row, he's been locked in from day one of this season. It's continuing right now. Anything that is around the strike zone, he feels he can get the barrel to it, and he continues to hit line drives. Standing in now, D.J. LeMayhew, high in the air down the right field line. And no one will track it down. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. Set to deliver the 0 and 1. And he popped him up. This is line to left. Hernandez is going to have room out there as he puts this away to retire the side. So no runs on a hit here, no errors, one man left on. So nothing in the Bombers' ninth. Last chance coming up for the Blue Jays. They trail here 4-1. to one. Tommy Kingley takes the ball now in now inning number nine, looking, looking to close the door. Number 48, Tommy Kingley. All set for the bottom of the ninth. Next will be the Lead pickup up, hitter, Lourdes Gurriel. He That's could really stop. use a knock here Lourdes. over three in the game so far. Oh, yeah. hey, not impossible, but highly improbable. Even when you're at home to score three oh, runs oh, off a closer right. like this guy, they've got the work cut out for him. Now the 0-1. Strike swinging, oh, timing a little off on that one. Canely, 30 years of age. He was selected in the first round back in the draft of 2013. Yeah, he has turned himself into a really nice ball player. I wouldn't put him on a superstar level, but you know what? They didn't miss with this pick either. You go into high rounds and you carve out a career the way this guy has, nice pick. Got him. And that's the third time we've written a K next to his name in this one. So the leadoff man gone to start the top of the I'll ninth the as we take game. a look at league saves leaders field. entering play. Off, and sure. as you see, he's right up there third among league day. leaders in that department. So that'll bring in Teoscar Hernandez. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Slider gets the outside. That's a strike. Maybe Whoa. trying to back him up a bit there with the fastball. One out, nobody on. There's a swing and a ball lifted to left, but back in the seats out of play. It's one and two. to two, two balls ball. and two strikes two now. And he strikes him out as well. So make it back-to-back -back punch outs here to the first two men he faces out of the bullpen. Well, you have right to feel field. pretty Number confident 15. about the way this one's going to end up Red as a manager. Two hitters, two Rick strikeouts it. from the closer. There's not a whole lot more he can do to instill confidence that he's going to wrap this thing up without any problem. Coming to the plate now, Rendell Gritchick. And he needs to make something happen. They're down to their final out here in the ninth. Right there for strike one. Hey, this guy's got an 89-mile-an-hour changeup. There was a time when 89 was a pretty good fastball. The 0-1 pitch. Line toward right center. 
But he will make the catch on the hard hit ball out there, and that will conclude matters here as this ball game is over. Well, these guys feel pretty good about themselves, and they should. Anytime you can come into somebody else's ballpark and sweep a three-game tilt, you're doing something right. Great team effort. And the score finishes 4-1 to one today. The New York Yankees jumped out to an early lead in the first and never looked back. Jonathan Loisega earns the win his second as he racked up 10 strikeouts in the effort. Tommy Kingley wraps it up for the save his 13th of the year. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vasquez, and you've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com.